said, what we try to do in this is we want to teach you the art of gathering, storing, and retrieving information. You can do that faster, quicker, better than ever before. It's going to be a good thing, not just in school, but in life. This was the first year that I, I worked with the BIF program. I think I had a partnership with them. And um, I know that the, the first meeting we had in the auditorium uh, with a group of about 35 students, I think that first group was, and um, the entire 35 um, were really captivated by the uh, presentation that Mr. Bracey gave. And I was, um, I, I could tell it right then, once he gave that presentation, that the students were more likely to take uh, more seriously. Okay, this is a person who's been around, who's intriguing, who's different, and um, from there on, you just met with them individually. And I think it was a, I think it was a big success. It was a great safety net that we needed uh, because we were able to do certain things with them that I don't think um, we gave them the individualization that they needed. And um, I think it was a good success. We went from at one point. So we had 62 kids graduating, and towards the end, I think we graduated 102. And um, so that was a nice percentage increase. So again, a good safety net. My comments would be that um, I was impressed with the demonstration that was performed before myself and others uh, uh, in the past two months. Uh, what the students have demonstrated to me, especially having known some of them prior was that uh, their skill level has increased, it was proven to me, especially those students that I've, I, I've known uh, their past, and so to see them at that level was uh, truly inspiring, and um, I certainly would like to see more of that, and uh, I'm, I'm impressed. Well, I think the BIP program has been a lifesaver for our school. In school so often you have your teachers who work with students fervently around instruction, uh, but often you don't have that extra support that you need and resources that you need for students that are not, not achieving at the level that you should and are actually failing. And you know these students have the intellect, but you don't know what the next piece is for them or how to get that next piece. And uh, sometimes they say, uh, be careful what you pray for, uh, uh, but um, that's been one of our needs over the last several years at the O'Brien, and when Mr. Bracey showed up and explained the big program for us, it was the perfect match. So I think it's a great program. Um, I think what probably surprised me the most from a principal's perspective was a program that could take students that are really unmotivated and motivate them to engage in school. Um, I've seen a lot of... Um, and what I've really learned about these programs, or you know, a lot of programs tell you they can do this, they can do that, but there's always other components. I think um, it's watching how um, Mr. Bracey really worked with seniors and getting them to kind of reshift their thinking around the work in a short period of time, I think was pretty impressive. I mean, I was very skeptical at first, to be quite frank, but um, you know, it's a program that actually works. Yeah, for my, like I said, I would tell them how impressed I am, and again, I'd like to see it carried on with more students and in, in, a, in a bigger sample. But the small sample I saw was impressive. A lot of things that happened yesterday, like um, the distractions, um, a lot of my mom in the schools, you know, so it's like I'm under the whole year, and if I'm already failing in class, it's like, you know, it's kind of like uh, that down and forth. And you know, it's, it's true. Now that I can hear and that I'm glad I can graduate and everything, it's in my mind. But, um, like, for instance, um, it's my first time really working, and I'm working two jobs. And I need to get up every day. I'm the only one working in the house. My mother's unemployed. My grandfather, you know, he had a, Not to talk about it like it's an exclusive thing, but then I had somebody else walking around in my life. Somebody that's written a point that's supposed to be there all the time. And out there. So it's a little a little bit in my mind. And like I said yesterday, I stayed up until two doing my doing my homework and it paid off. I got a ninety in my quiz. But at the same time a lot of people don't know that. You know, yesterday somebody tried to break into my house yesterday too. I'm not in those missing. I come home, I'm thinking about that like me, you know. So not to talk about it like it's an excuse or nothing, but
Axel Will. Right. So, uh, it's, it's easier to give up than to do something that's, that's hard and work at it. But at the same time, I can almost see the light. It's like I, I wanted to. That's, that's it in a nutshell, I guess, you know. Yesterday, our student support team met up at the Mattapan's Nature Park. Mm -hmm. We uh, went to our retreat to plan for next year. Uh, we were doing the A, B, C, Ds, um, A for attendance, B for behavior, C for course performance, and D for diplomas. Um, and we were brainstorming things that we wanted to do for next year. And one of the things that I've seen that, for me that works were the, um, the it's memory mapping or word association or even speed reading kind of things mm -hmm. where you learn to associate things so that you can remember. And the experience that's most fresh in my mind is when I went to Gary's um, workshop in Mattapan. And uh, he had us to write down uh, uh, one, 1 to 20 and, and he read off a list of things and then you would go back and remember and write in what he said. And the first time I did it, I think I got like three or four. And then he took us through an exercise where he showed us how to do it. And then he had us do it again. And I was just blown away because this time I got about 21 or 22 right. And I can remember coming back to work that Monday and saying to my coworkers, you know what? This past Saturday I went to a workshop and I walked out feeling so smart. <laughs> and it's always great when you feel smart. A lot, a couple of sleepless nights for the last two months, but it doesn't even seem like that much now because when I graduated on Friday, it was when I got there, it was just like it was surreal. You know? Because at one point in the year, I thought I wasn't going to graduate, but even the, like the sleepless nights, I'll do it all over again a couple of nights on top of that. Okay. So it was an with encouraging words from you know, Mr. Bracey the whole way. Well, hearing that, um, as long as I work hard, how oh, how I finish is most important. And so, despite how I started and everything, I kept that in my mind the whole time. So my mother that, even though my mother was like, oh, she she had it worries than it does sometimes. It was still kept that in my mind. Let me just finish, go on. It's not how I started, but um, or how how it keeps going, how everybody's around me, it's the work that I put in. And that's not exactly what you said, but that's how I took it. And um, how I end the how I end the race and my own standing, my own personal standing. And before and it's not like I couldn't do the work. Um, it was just like a lot of the time that I had to put in. And even with the my two jobs, my two my, my job understood because I, I let them know that school came before anything. Because I needed to graduate. I remember the at the beginning, like the very first classes, I remember like um, the memory exercises and um, coming over here on um, during break. So that kind of just, even though it was one day, it kind of got me in the, the state of mind where I'm going to have to be working even when people are doing other things that I'd rather be doing. Even though I don't have a lot of classes with some of them, it was still like um, seeing that we could still do it. Like, because we're still going to the classes, even though like, even even when it's at school or like if it was at the library, we stole it and it was uh, when I saw them on graduation day, it was like we all looked at each other. Like we didn't know each other like that, but I felt like I, I mean I'm happy for them. Going to college experience and that one of my goals is to graduate in four years, so um, that's a short term goal. I have a lot of dreams that I hope to accomplish. Um, so I'm just motivated and excited for the future. Well, you know, you don't have to sell me on the BIF program because I knew of the BIF program being at the Irving and I knew and saw how successful the BIF program can be. It was like a complete different phase there because we're talking about middle school kids. Here, uh, I love the presentation that you were able to uh, do for the um, administrators. I wish all the administrators had been there because that presentation was just incredible. I believe that for the short period that you were here, because unfortunately you didn't begin at the very beginning, a lot was accomplished. I believe that if the students learn how to 
take what they learn in the BIF program and are able to utilize it not only in the different subjects that they take, but in their lives. Then they would be better administrators. They would be um, better individuals. I think we have good leadership. And like you said, Mr. Sullivan wants the program. I really think Dr. Peterson wants the program as well. And there's many others that want the program. I believe that a lot of people that saw that presentation and saw those kids in action, because it wasn't you talking. It was the kids being able to respond to questions and show how that program had helped them. So to have you in your program be there for my son was very helpful. It was very enlightening. It was also an opportunity for me to see it work and, and see the, you know, the transformation in my son and see that spark come alive again where, oh, okay, I thought it was gone, but it was just dormant. Uh, one of the purposes of, of, of the BIF program is to motivate kids. And I think that uh, I've seen the motivation in kids who choose to participate. Mm -hmm. And the kids who chose not to participate, I saw no change in them whatsoever. But the kids who did choose to participate, I did see a big change in them and they went on to graduate. So I think the biggest thing that I like about the BIF program is the way that you follow the kids um, and the way that you call them. Even if it's a, a break or if it's a holiday, that once you sign on to follow the kids, that you really do follow the kids all the way through. And that you have a set curriculum that you do with the kids, and at the end, you can see the results. Yeah. So I think it's a great program. Uh, there was a program that could take students that are really unmotivated and motivate them to engage in school. And he's been able to take these students singly and in, and in groups uh, and inspire them through uh, having them believe in themselves and through the various programs that he uses in terms of mapping and speed reading uh, to give them the skill sets that they need to be success successful. So to see them at that level was uh, truly inspired. I wish all the administrators had been there because that presentation was just incredible. Well, I think the BIP program has been a lifesaver for our school. Um, so at one point, unfortunately, we had 62 kids graduating, and towards the end, I think we graduated 102. But that I would associate with BIP would be smart. That BIP, smart. And I, think it was a, I think it was a big success. It was a great safety net. The proof is in the pudding. <laughs> it has done what it was set out to do. It's a program that actually works. I'm, I'm impressed.